Hi guys, welcome back to another yoga practice and today's yoga flow, we're going to be focusing on our hips and our hamstrings, so the back of the legs as well. Now we hold a lot of tension through our hips, sometimes through stress, emotional tension, so be really kind to yourself during this practice and don't be worried or kind of concerned if um, thoughts um, and memories that might feel a little bit uncomfortable come up. Um, this is a really kind of safe and great way to release that tension that we've held in our body. Sometimes our body remembers stuff that our mind doesn't so much. It's like we really hold it in like every cell in our body. So yeah, be kind to yourself during this practice. We're going to start cross-legged. So however cross-legged looks for you today, you can pop yourself up on a block or a pillow if you wish as well. That's cool. Relax your hands wherever feels natural. And then settle into your seat. Close the eyes. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh out. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Watching the breath swirl around the body. Noticing if we're kind of gripping or holding on to tension anywhere that we didn't even kind of realize. And with each exhale, can we allow ourselves to let go? Focusing the mind now onto your breath, breathing in and out of the nose. Ujjayi breathing, if you have it, just like we practiced yesterday, blinking the eyes open. And then as you inhale, reach the hands high up overhead, lift up out of your seat. And then as you exhale, we're gonna forward fold. So maybe some of us forward folding is here, that's enough. Maybe for some of us, it's a big kind of drop of the head. Releasing down through the lower back, getting into the hips just a touch. Good, slowly walking the hands back towards you, bringing the hands just behind you. Have your fingertips pointing backwards, your thumbs pointing forward, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Option to stay here, option to push up onto the knees, squeezing through the glutes, you feel that opening in the front of the hip. Wonderful, full breath. Exhale, come on down, and then cross your feet the opposite way, so the non-habitual way probably, and then come on forwards again. So you might find you're a little bit more sticky on your least favorite side. But this is kind of really gentle. There's nothing to strive for. No pretty shapes. Good, and then slowly walking the hands back towards you. Fingertips just behind, squeeze shoulder blades, open the heart. And then maybe pushing up onto the knees, squeezing the glutes, feeling that opening in the front of the pelvis. Lovely, coming on down and then finding an all fours position. So we're gonna take it a little bit wider today. So take your hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width, maybe even as wide as your mat and your knees a little bit wider than you normally would. So it's a kind of nice kind of opening posture. So let's take cat cow like this. So as you inhale, drop the belly, sway the heart forwards. And as you exhale, round it on out. Notice how this subtle change in where your hands and feet are affect the posture. Inhale, drop belly, sway the heart. You might find a more opening. You might find more opening in the chest. And as you exhale, round it on out, feeling your lower back kind of spread. Lovely, taking a few more like this. At your own pace. Riding that wave of the breath. Good, and then either sticking with this, if this is serving you really well today, stay here. Otherwise, maybe take just a little bit of a regular movement. So maybe it's kind of circles, you really feel it kind of open up through your groin. You might push into the side and kind of feel it into the outer hip here and the inner hip, inner thigh kind of here. So just notice how it feels kind of different. And you come back and forwards. 
how many shapes and like movements can you find with your hands and knees in this position. Lovely, that really gets into my inner thigh mostly. Good, wonderful. From here, we're gonna bring the knees in hip width, hands now shoulder width, spread the fingers nice and wide. From here, we're gonna work into our uh, downward facing dog, so tucking the toes, lifting the seat. Lovely, keeping the knees a little bent as we're still getting warm. As you inhale, come up high onto the tiptoes. And as you exhale, press down through your heels a little more. Use the breath. Inhale, come up super high. And as you exhale, pressing down, use that breath. Wonderful. Inhale, come up super high. Exhale, pressing down. Good. From here, tiptoe the feet towards the hands. You can go straight legs or bent, whatever you're feeling. And then let's take that nice easy forward fold that we do at the top, so allow your head to be heavy. So this is more about our spine than our hamstrings at this point. So keep a little softness in the knees, maybe a little rock from side to side, maybe a little forwards and back. Shake out the head and neck, like let go of any tension. Good, and then soften the knees a little more and slowly pick yourself up. One vertebrae at a time, rolling up into your standing pose. Good, big toes together, heels slightly apart. Spread your toes, so lift all 10 toes and then place them down on the mat. Find your heel bones, press the floor away. Good, and as you actively press the floor away, you might find the crown of the head reaches up towards the sky. Awesome, palms shine forwards, proud, proud chest. Lovely, everyone. Inhale, reach the hands high. Look to the thumbs. As you exhale, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, plant the hands, step it back to a high plank, breathe in. As you exhale, lower knees, untuck the toes, lower down to the tummy. Inhale, lift in the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. As you exhale, we take it back to downward facing dog. Wonderful. Inhale, float your right leg high to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the knee and then allow your right hip to stack on top of your left. So your right knee is pointing to the sky. Now at this point, you might be able to see your right toes underneath your left armpit. It's quite an intense pose, so keep breathing. Come up super high onto your left tiptoes. You see how you can stack and open your hip a little more. Lovely, from here you might wanna circle out that right hip, the right knee. Maybe even write your name. <laughs> Find a little bit of like a regular movement. Strong breath. Keep zipping up through the belly, it'll really kind of help you. Good, take a nice big breath. And as you exhale, step that right foot in between the hands. Good, drop the back heel at 45, find your warrior one legs. Inhale, reaching the hands high overhead. Exhale, bend deeply into that front knee. Good, really establish your back heel down. Interlace the fingers, full breath in. Humble warrior, so shift your right foot over further to the right if you need to. Either the shoulder rests onto the knee or maybe it comes onto the inside as we work deeply into that right hip. Strong breaths. Head is heavy. Relax the jaw. One more breath, you got this. As you exhale, bring your hands to the inside of that right foot. Good, spin on your back toes and we're in this lizard pose. So take a little rock forwards and back. See how that feels. If your hands need to come to some bricks, if you need to come up onto your fingertips, you need to drop that back knee, that is totally an option. Lovely, from here we're gonna come into creepy lizard. So walking the hands forward, letting the head drop down, energy through that back heel, lovely. Good, and then creeping the hands to the left, so away from that front foot, pushing the bum back, kind of getting into a different corner of the hip. Good, lovely, from here walking the hands back, in line with the toes, find a little spring in your back foot. 
uh, yogi squat. You're gonna bring your left foot to meet your left hand, dropping down into that yogi squat. Hands can come to heart. They can remain on the floor, proud chest. Slow the breath, big breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands to the mat. You're gonna send your head down and your bum up. Turn the toes forwards and then slowly begin to rebuild yourself one vertebrae at a time. Good, when you get to the top, you're gonna bring your feet hip width. Now hip width is where your femur bone, like your thigh bone, enters your pelvis. So it's like kind of here, rather than like the wide part of your hip. Most people think their hips are like really wide and often when you look at their pelvis, it's a bit narrower than you think. Good, so find your hip width, spread your toes, pick a bit, take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, forward fold, you're gonna use your peace fingers and thumbs and wrap them around your big toes. If you need to bend your knees, fine, totally. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. And then as you exhale, elbows come out to the sides as you use your biceps, crown of the head drops down, keep zipping up through your belly and shifting the weight forwards into the toes that you're simultaneously trying to pull up off the mat with your fingers and thumbs. Good, have this idea that the sit bones are like reaching up towards the ceiling and lift your kneecaps, engage your quads. So as you do that, your hamstrings are gonna release even more. So your muscles work in pairs. When one contracts, the other can relax. Lovely, big intense stretch for these hamstrings. Wonderful, letting go of the toes, whatever you've got hold of. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, hands press to shins. Exhale, fold, you might find it's a little bit easier. Inhale, rise on all the way up. Scoop those hands sky high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful, take a big step out. So we're lengthways on our mat now. Big toes ever so slightly nudged in. Wrists over ankles, that's a nice measurement. Hands to hips, big breath, open the heart. And then as you exhale, forward fold, hands come down to a brick or the floor, relax the head. Lovely, from here bend into one knee and then the other, you can get a little bit of a sway on. Allow your lower back to be kind of released. The neck and head to be heavy, wonderful. And then come back through the center. As you inhale, come up halfway onto your fingertips and scoop the belly in. This time we're gonna keep our spine straight. So as you exhale, keep that lovely length in your spine as you bring the crown of the head down and the heels of the hands are gonna walk back to maybe in line with the heels of the feet, maybe. Good, shifting the weight forwards into the toes. Intense stretch through the back of the legs. Some of us might feel this into our groin area as well with this wide stance. Good, slowly walking the hands forwards. Heel toe the feet a little bit closer, coming down into your yogi squat. Awesome. From here, bring your hands behind. You're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and you're gonna bring your heels as close as you can towards you without aggravating the knees. Interlace the fingers, sit tall, sit proud, squeeze shoulder blades together and then slightly bring the shoulders forwards over the pelvis. So we're keeping our back nice and straight for this one. Relax the jaw and have this idea that the inner thigh is like spiraling open and outwards. Wonderful, one more full breath. Exhale. Good, slowly coming all the way back up, closing up the knees like a book. And from here, you're gonna bring your hands back to the front edge of the mat, step it back to a downward facing dog. Let's take a little vinyasa here. So inhale, ripple forwards to a high plank. You can lower down chaturanga if you wish or drop the knees, lower all the way down on the exhale. On the in breath, lift the heart. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, float your left leg back and up in space. 
And as you exhale, bend the knee, let gravity have the foot and pull it over to the right. So seeing your toes underneath your right armpit. <laughs> awesome, pointing the knee up to the sky. Maybe making some circles. Maybe writing something in the air with the knee. <laughs> Strong in the shoulders. Take a nice full breath. As you exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Drop the back heel. Warrior one, inhale. Strong legs. Zip the thighs together so we square off those hips. Interlace the fingers. Full breath in. Exhale, come on down, humble warrior. Relax the jaw. And relax the head. Strong back leg. Really find that connection with the earth through that back foot. Good, big breath. Exhale, hands to the inside of your left foot. Spin on your back toes, have a little wriggle. Whew, you can drop the back knee, that's totally a variation. Or maybe creeping the hands forward, letting the head drop down. Creepy lizard. Good, and then creeping the hands away from that front foot, pushing the bum ever so slightly back into the side, getting into a different corner of the hip. Good, walking the hands back towards the foot. Soften through the back knee, yogi squat. Step that right foot forward. Sink down into that yogi squat, awesome. Have a little wriggle out, how are those hips doing? Cool, from here we're gonna send our head down and our bum up. Turn the toes forwards and find your hip width. Now you know where it is. Now you can do the same again. Use your peace fingers and thumb. But if you don't have any wrist problems, your wrists are fine. Bend your knees, slot your hands underneath your feet so you can't see your hand at all. Good, same thing, big breath, look forwards. And then as you exhale, elbows out to the side, use the strength in your biceps, let the head drop down, shifting the weight forwards into the toes if the wrists allow. So listen to your joints. Maybe some of us can straighten our knees a little more, sending the sit bones higher and intensifying a little bit more, maybe. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Releasing the hands, come up halfway onto fingertips. As you exhale, bring your hands to your waist. Soften the knees and then slowly, slowly pick yourself up. Give those legs a shake if they need. Good, let's take that big wide stance once more. So wrists over ankles. This time, interlace your fingers behind. Take a big breath in, squeeze shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, dive it forward. Head is heavy. Now really engage through the feet. So tipping the weight forward into the toes, reach your sit bones high to the sky. Again, and lift your kneecaps, engage your quads so your hamstrings can release and open up. Good, big breath in. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, heel toe your feet, yogi squat distance. Come on down, how's that feeling? Have a little kind of wriggle out through your yogi squat. Awesome, from here, come down, take a seat. Soles of the feet together, but this time further away, and we're gonna really round our spine. So just allow your head to be heavy. You can have your hands rested here. You can thread your arms underneath your calves and just have your palms shining up, wherever's most comfy for you. Good, slowly walking the hands back towards you, bringing the knees in. And then from here, we're gonna come to an all fours position. Lovely, we're gonna take pigeon here. So bringing the right knee to the right wrist and you're gonna bring the foot out to the left. Slide the back foot back. Check in with that knee, if it's sore, grab a block and you can prop up your glute and it'll just alleviate any tension there. Otherwise, big breath in, untuck that back toe 
and come on down. So you're getting really into that right hip. Relax the head. And find some support for the forehead, particularly in between the eyebrows. So, so really kind of calming sensation to have the forehead rested. Feeling safe. With each exhale, allowing yourself to work through those deep layers in the hips. Good, take another big breath. And sigh something out. <sighs> Whatever you need, kid. Slowly walking the hands back towards you. And you're gonna sit down onto your right bum cheek and bring your left leg out in front. So your right sole of foot is on the inside of that thigh. Big breath in. Forward folding into that left hamstring. Let your head go. Release the jaw. Keep like active in this foot. Keep the toes flexed back towards you. Feel it a little bit more down the back of the leg rather than like when the foot is all kind of disengaged. slowly walking those hands back towards you. Bring both legs out in front and give them a little bit of a shake. Good, let's do the same on the opposite side. So come to all fours. You're gonna bring the left knee in towards the left wrist. Foot nudges over to the right and then walk the back foot back. Good, assess the situation with the hips. You wanna be 50-50, you don't wanna be like falling to one side. Big breath, and then come on down. Move nice and slow. Don't feel like you need to come all the way down to your fullest straight away. Take your time. We're in no hurry today. Hmm. Smooth, calming breath. And if you do find you come up against some difficult thoughts or emotions, it's okay. Allow them to bubble up to the surface and release with an exhale. Remaining comfortable in the head and shoulders Noticing if they're kind of gathering any tension at all. Good. One more breath cycle. Good. Slowly walking your hands back towards you. Oh, come down and sit onto your left bum cheek. And then swing that right leg out in front for your forward fold. Reach the hands high. Exhale, forward folding. Keep this right foot active. And really working down into that right hamstring. Same principles here. So keep the foot active. Keep the knee drawing up. So we're engaging this front side. So this back side can release. Relax the back of the neck too. Good. One more breath. And release. Good, slowly walking your hands back towards you. Lengthen out both legs, give them a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a tap out. Release the feet, lovely. And then come find a comfortable seat. Relax your hands somewhere that they can relax, maybe onto the belly, into the lap. Close the eyes. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And just notice how that lower half of the body feels. Bringing the hands together at heart center. Bow the head to the heart and really thank yourself for carving out this time to release down through your hips and your hamstrings to make space for the new.